cooking with Ryan, cooking with Ryan. While there is music, we're cooking with Ryan. Oh my, yes, it's gonna be fun. Hello, my name is Ryan. Hello, my name is Ryan, and hello, and welcome to another episode of Cooking with Ryan and Music. I am so excited because today I'm going to teach you how to cook my grandfather, how to make my grandfather's famous one year jalapeno poppers. What I need you to do is get out a notebook because there is a ton of information and notes you're gonna have to take down to make sure you can cook these as good as myself and my granddad. Stay tuned, step one, cutting the jalapenos. There we go. This is a good harvest. Uh, we've got two right there that are on. That is amazing. Look at those right there. We got a couple here. I think we have. I think we have enough. Um, oh, here's a couple. <laughs> this one's hanging off the fence. Ridiculous. Uh, there's a couple more. And so, what you want to do? Let me see if I can show you because you need to be very careful. I'm gonna to try to just put this up here. I need a film crew, but I'm gonna do the best I can. See if I can just, look, give me a second. Give me a second, let me, oh, let me try. Um, here, let me try it from, let me try it from here. How's that? Can you see that? Great, okay. You take whatever uh, special, you know, normally you could just take a plastic bag, but again, Grandpa taught me how to grow these on a fence vine, and so what better way but to put them in Grandpa's special box? One. Look how big that is. You, you, you can't get those from regular jal jalapenos that like grocery stores grow. Sometimes you whistle and it makes stuff like this funner. Hey, hello. Can you see my jalapeno? Hello. Hey, hello. Hello, can you see my jalapeno? Unless I'm missing any, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I found I found a I found another one. I think when I planted the seeds, I think when I planted the seeds, I was supposed to grow 12 of them, but I only see 11, so I'm kind of disappointed. But see how, see how they go in Grandpa's box? They just, it's like a perfect fit. It's like Grandpa's up above and he's like, hey, put these in there, perfect fit. Welcome back. Now hopefully you took some notes. I put all the ingredients up there for you. I left a couple things out though, because what is this show for if I can't teach you? Now, as you can see, we've got grandpa's special one year jalapenos sitting right here. And I've got two different cutting boards. One because blue is my favorite color. And the second one represents the sun because who wouldn't want to eat peppers that are happy? So the next thing we've got to do is get the tools to cut the jalapenos. First, you want to get a pair of scissors. This isn't exactly the knife I'm looking for, but it might work. I'm sorry, just give me a second. Damn it. I've been looking for these. Ow! Dang it. Oh, 
Okay, this is gonna have to work. It's just a regular pin. Now that you have your marker, you have your knife and your scissors, you're gonna begin with just drawing a straight line on the jalapenos. Now the reason for this is to make sure you have a precise cut. When you're gonna be adding the CBD cream and cheese, it's very particular where it rests inside the peppers. So I'll go ahead and get these marked and I'll come back in just a moment and we'll start to cut these. Great, here we are. We've got precise lines. You can actually cut all of them at the same time. So we're gonna get started here. You wanna just gently move through the jalapeno because there is the risk of possibly breaking it off on one of the ends. And if you don't have any more, you're gonna have to wait a year uh, for them to grow. If you don't sharpen your knife, you're gonna have some problems. I would suggest, actually the best thing would be to just use a regular kitchen knife. So to save time, I'm gonna go ahead and get these cut and we'll be back in just a moment. And here we have them. Look how precise they are. Kind of reminds me of like your life partner's tan line or if you have kids, you know, you're gonna clean them when you're, when you're changing the diaper and you have to be precise on that and make sure you clean them up or they'll get a rash. We are almost ready to get all of these seeds out. Of course, these are called stinger seeds because if you get any in your eyes, they're gonna burn really, really bad. Also, if you inhale the fumes, like I'm obviously doing right now, you have a chance of getting really sick or having problems with your esophagus the next day, so just be cautious. These are very, very important to the tribes of the world, not just America. They speak of these as almost the detoxer of the entire physical, mental, and spiritual part of your existence. If you don't have any, this is Palo Santos and also a couple candles. Here in just a minute, we are going to rid and clear these jalapenos before we take the seeds out. If you can, listen to my friend, Chief Wahaha. So nobody was allowed to marry outside of your race. Crime calls miscegenation. So an, an Indian community formed here in Ainer. It was actually called Dog Bluff. Ah, es una buena variedad. Uh, aggressive man. Walk them on was usually the oldest son of the oldest female. I have to worry about the, uh, the people. The people have to eat. Uh, someone's grocery running out and that sort of stuff where I do. Isn't that something you'd never expect? Here I have this set up. I hope you enjoyed meeting my friend, Chief Waha. All we're simply going to do, you don't need to chant, you don't need to say anything to the jalapenos, but you do want to clear them of any spirits they may have, um, they may have gotten while growing. Okay, everything's ready. We're gonna go ahead and, and get all these seeds out. Hey, what's up? How can we help you, Uh, do you guys still, are you guys still carrying the CBD cream cheese? Oh, yes. Uh, we got a couple oh, there of it is. different kinds here. 
So this one is going to be your 32 milligram uh, full spectrum, and then we got your isolate 16. So okay. like this is smaller, but since it's an isolate, it'll, it'll still hit just as hard. Yeah. Yeah. Totally. Okay. Well, I'll try. I'll try both of them. Cool, man. Is that going to be it for you today? No. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah. <laughs> I was like, no. I want to buy the whole store. I definitely recommend just starting off with one or two teaspoons and see how you feel, and then maybe move on from there. Okay. So this is the cool thing about Austin. Like, I don't know. Just being able to get, you know, cream cheese. It's hard. There you go, man. Would you like a bag? Uh, yeah, please. Cool. Cool, you're all set, bro. I appreciate it, man. Thank you. you. I have a dream. dream, 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 dream. I think horses deserve to run around and be happy while they're doing it. Listening to music. Horsesformusic.org. Hey, why are they all in bed? Hey, what the We just got back from the vape shop getting our CBD cream cheese. This is my favorite part and I'm going to try something a little bit different. You see this right here? This you can pick up at your grocery store. This is a good cock. This is a good cook um, cake tube. And what I'm going to try is putting the CBD cream cheese inside to make it easier to just quickly get your jalapenos uh, full of cream cheese. So give me a, a second here. What I think we should do is basically take a spoonful and then we're just gonna put it, we're just gonna put it in here like this, see? kind of not wanting to go in there. I assume that when cake artists, they have to go through the same thing. It doesn't... There we go, there we go. You're gonna put a, a little bit more in. You're probably gonna be able to get uh, two or three per squeeze. So it shouldn't take as long as it as it normally would when you're just doing it with a knife. There we go. Okay, we've got it in here and we're just going to gently squeeze. Okay, so this doesn't really work that good. Just, just a moment ago, I showed you what not to do. Now, most people were convinced that I was screwing up or that I hadn't planned things out. No, I was trying to show that sometimes a person likes to try new things ladies. 
Now I'm gonna get back to business. I've got my knife here. This works amazing. Look at this, watch. You just take it like this and you paint as if a uh, canvas, right? For the painters out there. You just spread it. Ooh. Ooh. Perfectly, we've got the CBD cream cheese spread across evenly. Since we are using CBD cream cheese, you need to be cautious when allowing your children uh, to eat these, at least for ages five and up. Just give them like a little bite, just a, a little piece, and everything will be fine there. This is a little tool that allows you to rekey your door lock without having to switch it. You just use this tool and then you can have the same key basically to a new lock. When I learned this trick with the poppers, I thought about when I was a kid, when there was cement on the, the sidewalk and it was not quite dry. Maybe you were with your best friend down the street. Mine was Timmy. Maybe you're with your brother or sister. The cement was dry and it was a sunny day. You knew it was gonna dry quick. So you took your finger and you wrote your initials in it. I'm going to write mom. <laughs> I'm gonna do one. Let's say there's this couple and the, the gentleman wants to propose because the first date that he had, they had jalapeno poppers. This gentleman that's gonna propose to his woman. Let me see if I can get it close enough. <laughs> it says, I love you. <laughs> One of the final steps, which is the bacon. I went ahead and bought some really cheap bacon. Save some money. Take your kids to an amusement park or, or take someone out. Oh God, these fumes still <coughs> you need to be careful about the fumes um, I'm not sure if it'll affect other people like me but man I've got a surprise because I've had a couple drinks and I want to have some fun with some bacon So I know I was being a goofball, but it, it reminds me when I see my nephews playing and just how super silly they are. They don't have a, a, a care in the world. And so it was kind of like a tribute to them, e even though they're still here. Because you're gonna take just the jalapeno, or as Chief Waha would say, jalapeno. You just wrap it like this. When you are chosen to be an artist with Crosby Petals, if you look, you could then be kind of like me. We are back. And before I forget, just to thank one of our sponsors, No Label Soda, who needs a label? We have finished. They are all wrapped. They're all done. Each one of them. You just want to give them a little pat. <laughs> They're all wrapped up like a dude that doesn't want kids. They're all wrapped up. I like got a business meeting when they're like, okay guys, let's wrap it up. I've had quite a bit to drink at this point. As most of you know, with my cooking show, I don't waste any time with preheat. 
and I turn the temperature up as high as it can go. The faster it cooks, the faster I get to eat. I'm so glad that you guys were on this journey to the oven with me. Check out some of the entertainment while you wait. I will return and we'll have our first dinner together. I love you. This is the moment we have been waiting for. This special meal that is so important to my heart, my grandfather's one year jalapeno poppers. I appreciate your dedication to watching this video. And now it's time to eat. Now I don't have any oven mitts. I've got just regular dish towels. I still wanna be careful uh, because these can be very hot. So if you don't have any oven mitts, just, just fold the towels as much as you can and we'll get these out of here. Whew, this is hot. Now they're still boiling, which is a good sign because these are gonna be really, really good. Thank you. Here's my grandfather's jalapeno, famous jalapeno one year peppers. I hope you guys took some notes. Mm. Cooking with Ryan, cooking with Ryan, while there is music, we're cooking.